Hi guys, welcome to Meetster, and this is the second episode of our beer review series where we are reviewing low alcohol and non-alcoholic beers against the criteria of aroma, flavour, mouthfeel and finish. But today we move on to the next beer and that is Infinite Session Pale Ale. This one is fresh AF, according to them. Um, it's another beer with 0.5% alcohol or less, so it is alcohol free. And it, they classify it as an American pale ale. And of course, they uh, are encouraging you to drink an infinite amount. So we should find out if we actually would like to drink that much of it. It says on the back here, at infinite session, we believe beer is bigger than booze, that's why we're all about big flavours, bold choices and brilliant times. Turns out alcohol free doesn't have to be boring AF. Uh huh, okay, we'll find out. Well, I've got a glass over here. So, another golden coloured beer. And this one, actually maybe out of all of them, probably looks the most like beer so far. It's got a nice fine froth and quite a few bubbles. So let's start with the aroma. Okay, so it's quite hoppy. Um, these are more floral aromas of hops as opposed to really fruity ones like um, in the Nanny State. It's a welcome change actually. Wouldn't want every beer to be the same of course. It's not very generous but it is um, certainly giving us some nice complexity. If you care about complexity in your beer, then that's a good thing, of course. And I'm gonna give this six and a half out of 10 for aroma. Okay, so for flavor, unfortunately, it feels like there's quite a metallic taste there straight away on the palate, and um, that's probably a byproduct of the way it's uh, been recarbonated, perhaps. Um, but that does override everything else. On the other hand, saying that, it makes me, makes me think of quite a lot of the lager that I've drunk in my life. Um, it's not supposed to be a lager, and it does have some more hoppy character than most lagers, but it's quite bland, really. There's not a lot going on. Very small amount of malty uh, flavour, a little bit of bitterness, uh, no real floral or fruity notes from the hops, and then that metal flavour that just overrides, like sucking on a penny, metallic AF is what it should say on the back, really. But, um, okay, let's move on from that. That is uh, five and a half out of 10 for flavor, I'm afraid. Now, onto mouthfeel. So, this is more like the Nanny State, <clears throat> which um, we gave, I can't remember what we gave, probably six. I would say this is about the same as that, and I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's not rich, it's not big, it's not weighty. Um, it's relatively refreshing though, and uh, maybe on a hot summer's day, that sort of mouthfeel would actually be preferable to the rich and bold uh, mouthfeel that we got from the Big Drop Brewing Company. So, not terrible, it doesn't um, excite me particularly, but there is refreshing crispness, let's say. And on to the last factor. Oh. Finish. Well, the very slightest bit of hot flavour that you get finishes within half a second it's gone. Which is fine because, um, you know, there's no alcohol here, you can keep drinking it, you can keep getting your flavours. But unfortunately, what does linger is that metallic taste. And that is not particularly attractive. Uh, and after that, it's just water. Water AF, I'm afraid, infinite session. So we're giving finish three out of 10. Three out of 10, that's relatively poor. It's pretty poor, isn't it, actually? So overall, it's not the best. It's more neutral than any state. It wouldn't be bad for a party for people just chugging beer down if they fancied something non-alcoholic. It's not complex. 
It's not too rich. You could drink quite a few. It doesn't feel too calorific. Let's see if it actually says what calories there are. So, excuse me. So it's very slightly higher in calories than the nanny steak, which it does feel like. The mouthfeel is very slightly richer and we're looking at around 38 calories for the bottle. Oh, it actually says on here 36 calories, so my math is not too far off. Anyway, this has been Infinite Session Pale Ale, and unfortunately I'm not sure I'd pick this disappointing AF. Let's move on. See you next time. Oh, and by the way, if you've enjoyed this video, go and check out our first beer review. If you've liked what you've seen, give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel. We also do food videos, mainly steak and barbecue, but also a whole load of other sorts of recipes. And um, going forward, hopefully, if you've enjoyed this, you can check out the next one. Just hit the bell. All right.